Um, it is my honor to introduce our next speaker, Ms. Caitlin Kim. Um, Caitlin is an outpatient therapist with Penny Lane. She began as an MIP intern um, and returned as full-time staff, and we're really lucky to have her. She's actually also my mentee, and I am so thankful every day that I get to work with, um, with her as she moves throughout her Penny Lane career. So I would like to welcome Caitlin Kim. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so I have a reading prepared for you all, um, and it is titled, Today I Am a Witness to Change. Um, so today I wake up tired, a tiredness that plagues me, soft gray, soft gray hues contrasting over a grieving landscape filled with many frigid hearts. Today I ache, I lay in the pre-dawn, moon shadows on my window blinds, contented kittens purring at my side. On the radio, news of greater challenges, challenges that require more than I can handle alone. An Asian American died because of hate. A child lost his mother. Today we mourn. I cry and pray for the world. I want the attacks to be called what they are, terrorism. Today, I feel we need more than conversation. Let us take more than a moment of silence. Let us find our community. Let us remember and let us take action. Today, I hesitate. For the first time, I wonder if I should stay home and not walk the neighborhood. It's not the weather or the virus. The day is beautiful. Today, I'm frozen, terrified. I cannot hide this skin, this hair, these eyes. I see the punch, punch, punch of a community at war. Today, I am a witness. I rush past the jeering white boys that say I brought corona to America. My soul is weary. Today, a video call full of empty boxes stares at me apprehensively. Students locked behind a screen, their hearts and minds severed from one another. Today, the headlines say, March Madness. Today, I don't watch basketball. The madness is in the streets, in broad daylight, on the concrete sidewalks of New York, in the silence of bystanders. It's in the textbooks, the classrooms, the family dinners, the lies that we tell. Today, the rain falls and falls and falls. A silent tear from a weeping woman. Today, I will say their names. I will cancel class and try again tomorrow. Today, a Chinese man travels back in time. The hateful and ra racist words hurled at a lonely child emerges from buried memories. Today. I offer a slice of my own wounded soul to graft a love patch, a patchwork piece for a more perfect union. Today, I think about my best friend's Korean mom. If it was her kicked to the ground in New York or punched in California or shot in Georgia. Today, I remember the idea of America as a melting pot. The past 12 years, looking over my shoulder and watching my back. The steak and shake waitress in 2006, who outright refused to wait on me, who threw the menu in great disdain. The young woman in Loom Creek, who was with her boyfriend, who threw a stone at me because I was doing my Tai Chi at the top of the 116 steps that I love to go up and down. I want to be somewhere and nowhere at once. I cringe at our disunity. I stand back in awe of the never diminishing divisiveness. I cry for the misunderstood and those that misunderstand. Today, I tell my youngest child that when I was a child, I wished I was white. I was silent. I allowed people around me to mispronounce my name. Today, the dragon bends from the western winds, blown hot from valleys deep. 
Scorched skies belie the spring, heads bowed, all weep. Outside my window, the daughter bends to examine the fish in the pond, slowly gliding out of their winter torpor. Her name means celebration in Chinese. It also means blessing. Today, I remember the sacrifices of my grandmother, her steely eyes that shed many tears, her small, sinewy hands that clung to her children, her diminutive feet that leapt over the ocean. Today, I will use her strength that courses through my veins. Today, I am a witness to change. As I sit inside our bookstore, arranging the carefully printed and bound words of so many voices, I wonder who will welcome the truth. The Joy Luck Club, the Hungry Tide, Prairie Lotus, Pachinko, the namesake. So many words, each leaving an imprint, like a grain of rice, stockpiled and cataloged, knowledge gleaned, gathered, empathy enhanced. Today, I will ferry you across the troubled waters, hold you close in any way you crave. Today, I think not only of the cold ignorance of man, but the small ember of warmth we transfer when we love. Today, I rise. Today, we stop telling lies. I will stand, I will speak. I will stand, I will speak. Today, I will return to normal, attending church, eating out, walking, being. Because today, we will persevere. Thank you.